Hey guys, welcome to 2020. I hope you've had a wonderful uh, holidays and New Year's. As you can see, it's snowing and uh, we're gonna go for a hike. <laughs> and uh, along the way, I'm gonna talk about my 2019 as well as the optimism that I have about 2020. So uh, let's go find a better spot because this is kind of urban -y and boring and noisy. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> All right, I am overdressed for this. I am uh, sweating pretty good on the inside. I need to take this uh, heavier coat off and swap it in it for just a lighter version. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna get cold later on. So, continuity change. <laughs> All right, so I just changed out my coat. Uh, I feel a lot better now and I should be a lot better now. So let's go to the next spot. Isn't this wonderful? I only wish that I could show what I see better through the camera, you know? I'm trying, but it's not the same as the visceral experience, you know? Being in the moment with it. But uh, I hope you, you're liking the B-roll that I'm showing so far. So let's recap a little bit on 2019. I don't necessarily believe in revolutions. I believe in affirmations. I believe they're a lot more effective. Um, it's basically telling yourself things you need or what you want and and, and uh, I'll leave that for another video of why that works But it has a lot of you know brain things going on. So anyway, the three things that I had going on first one was I want to no longer be a dealer and this actually became true <laughs> uh, Is I mean mostly because I, I was forced out of it, but at the same time it, Whatever it took to get out of it may, had to happen and I'm really glad that it did happen. I don't have any more shoulder problems or anything like that. Everything seems to be all right there, so I won. <laughs> but it definitely changed things up economically speaking. But anyway, that's another story. The second thing, I wanna make more videos. Now this one's a little bit harder to talk about whether I was successful or not. In many respects, yes, I certainly am. I've definitely created more content this year, but not as much as I thought I was going to. And a lot of that was because I had projects and spent time on projects that didn't really go anywhere. So even though I was trying, I, I still want, I still need them to come out. So I'm, I am optimistic with 2020. I've got a lot more work in 2019 to work up into 2020. So hopefully in 2020, I'll be doing record numbers of videos. <laughs> And uh, as you're aware, I have the business side of things and, and I really hope a lot of that goes through there as well because, uh, you know, if I can make a living out of this, I can get a lot better at this and I have a lot of long-term goals that I can take this with. So here's a uh, route for that one. And then there's the third one. I, I want a girlfriend, you know, like I, it's been a few years and I, yeah, you know, enough said on that, right? <laughs> now, I don't really know how to talk about this one because this becomes more personal, I guess. <laughs> you know, what do I want to say about it? Uh, but I guess I could say is I never did find what I was hoping to find in 2018. You know, it's kind of like a needle in a haystack. It's opportunities. It's... Yeah, so, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's move on. Let's carry on to the next scene and
All right, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit up A&W here and uh, get something to eat. <laughs> All right, that was good, but I didn't feel like getting any B-roll in there. It was too many people, and I don't feel really comfortable with that. <laughs> but anyway, away we go. <laughs> All right, we finally made it to the lake. And as you can see, it's still kind of snowing, but it's actually tapering off for a bit, which is actually perfect because otherwise I wouldn't have the visibility to show you across the lake. So you're gonna see that in a moment here. Anyway, the reason why I'm also stopping here is to continue on with the story. And this one, I haven't mentioned any any tidbits to this about anybody for any reason. This is, this is kind of, so I don't really wanna talk about this in detail. This is kind of a, something I'm moving on from. Seven years ago, I had a catastrophic life failure. Everything from, I had a business failure that took everything with it. Financially, all like my relationships that I had, just, just everything, nothing, nothing was going right at all. Everything was just worst case. Maybe not worst case, but yeah, pretty much worst case. I was in and out of the hospital for things too. And anyway, I don't want to talk about that. The, the part that I want to talk about is the financial burden that I was carrying. I had a plan and it worked, but I knew I had to endure waiting for this plan to kind of finish to get closure on that. And in 2019, I finally got the closure on that. I no longer carry that burden and I can move on from whatever that drama or that ordeal that I had to go through. It's it's. It's a part of me, it's part of my past, but it's something that doesn't have to affect my current. And that is something I'm really, I don't even know how to put it in words because it's its such an important thing to be not having to worry about. So anyway, moving forward. Oh, how you doing, Ducky? <laughs> moving forward to 2020, I, without having that weight on my shoulders, it's definitely gonna give me a lot more uh, comfort. It's going to improve my confidence in, in some things, I hope, you know, because it's not something that, it's not a burden I have to share with anybody, right? It's not something that's going to affect anybody else. So as long as, well, that's true, then I, I, I honestly don't have, I don't know how to put words into it. it. Especially, especially when I found out about this months ago, it was, I was definitely a lot more, uh, emotionally vivid about the situation it was it felt good <laughs> anyway uh enough of that i guess uh let's uh, continue on to the beach and show you some more stuff i got obviously more to the story to tell you and uh, let's let's get her going <laughs> look at all these duckies how you duckies doing <laughs> Ain't that beautiful. So I'm at my final location where I'm gonna wrap things up. I was hoping to get a bit of a lake scene, but the snow. <laughs> so I got something at least. Um, so I'm very optimistic about 2020. I, f uh, oh, there's a little beaver over there. I won't be able to jump on the camera in time, but there's a little beaver. <laughs> Maybe a muskrat, but hard to say. Anyway. Um, this year, I'm feeling really optimistic this year, more so than probably ones that I've ever felt in a long time. The business developments, you're probably might be aware that I've created something called Business Bits, which I'm aiming to be a one to five minutes would be on the long side of things, but kind of that one to five minute short videos of just little snippets about tips and tricks for 
uh, marketing and business applications. Doesn't necessarily mean they're all gonna fit for every situation, but it's my way of giving free advice, free tips, free information to help build credibility for myself. Because um, I guess the idea is, is when I meet somebody, I want to go, hey, you know, I've got this website, I've got this YouTube channel. Why don't you check me out first? Get a good feel for what I'm about. And if you like what you want, then I can start going through the process of going to video creation with them or developing a, a business plan or a marketing plan with them. Uh, but I, you know, got to start somewhere and I got to prove something, I guess, right? So I'm looking forward to that. I have uh, basically five out right now on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And I've probably got about another half a dozen or more or so scripts that are already kind of written up and ready to go. I just gotta, I'm just making sure everything's all, you know, A, B, C, D, and then, then I'll start jumping on that. Um, I have uh, the aquaponics project. I'm re-kicking that up again. I should have an update sometime in January about that. And, uh, well, I mean, it's it's just, it's just, <laughs> keep plugging away, you know? Uh, like I've mentioned probably a number of times is I feel like I'm going through exponential growth from the start. So even though three years ago or so when I started doing stuff like this, it was pretty weak, you know, low budget, still is low budget, still probably could use some improvement, but I'm seeing it every six months when I look back, like I've taken another big leap and another big leap and another one and another one. And, and so I think 2020 is going to be bigger than probably all the years before it. And I'm really looking forward to that one. So uh, other than that, I think I'm gonna leave this off. I'm gonna start heading home now. And uh, you have yourself a good, wonderful year yourself. <laughs> See ya.